Well, Monday marks a sort of holiday in geek culture. It's Star Wars Day, as in May the 4th be with you. An Overland Park man is using his spare time during this pandemic to prepare with a project that's turning heads in his neighborhood. KCTV5's Nathan Vickers shows us what he's working on. Not so long ago, in a garage not so far away. Star Wars is one of those that uh, I loved the movie growing up. The creative bug bit Alan Godwin. Or maybe it was the Force. I just thought I was just the hokey guy who likes to build Halloween props in my yard. For the past few years, Godwin and his son Micah have been trying to attract more trick-or-treaters with wooden movie models. It's really been time for us uh, to, to, to bond. This summer seemed like a good time to start working on this year's. From a distance, it's imposing. A scale model of a Star Wars TIE fighter. When you go out there and you see how big it truly is, it's like, wow, he did this in his garage? And the neighbors have taken notice. We are Star Wars fans. I just really appreciate the fact that he did this and not only took the time to put it together, but open it up to the community and let us come out and enjoy it. Looks like it could withstand a couple blaster shots. Star Wars gives up. You know what? I need to get into character for this. Dwayne, come give me a hand here. Now ah, that's better. Uh, Star Wars gives people something to get excited about right now, and a project like this catches eyes across the galaxy. We've met a lot more neighbors than we ever had before and had a lot of questions coming from across the street. Eventually, Godwin wants to auction it off to raise money for an animal shelter. But the project has been good for him, too. Just find what you like and use that to decompress, to de-stress. And just in time for Monday, May the 4th be with you. His TIE fighter is ready to fly. In Overland Park, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News. <laughs> wow, all the creativity there uh, with Alan's TIE fighter that is unreal. Uh, Nathan turning into Yoda. Gary, uh, that's way more creativity than you and I both share. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd never come up with that in a million years, that's for sure.